We can only ask for more ambition if we provide additional support. And the breakthrough on adaptation and resilience must also be a global priority. With many countries on the front line of the climate crisis, we have a moral imperative and a clear economic case for supporting developing countries to adapt and build resilience to current and future climate impacts. And this requires adequate and predictable financing. The global coalition for net zero emissions is gaining momentum and countries representing 70% of the world economy and 65% of global carbon dioxide emissions have now committed to carbon neutrality by 2050. This drive for net zero emissions must become the new normal for everyone, everywhere. We also need to re-establish trust between developed and developing countries. And we once again look to the EU to become a powerful bridge builder in the run-up to COP26. The way to do so is by fulfilling the promises that were made in Paris, namely regarding the mobilization of 100 billion US dollars of support to developing countries every year. And this is not a symbolic pledge, it is a vital commitment.